If you open up any atlas and take a look at a map of the world, almost every single one of them slices the Pacific Ocean in half. To the human eye, every map censors all the land masses on Earth, creating the illusion that water can handle the butchering and be pushed to the edges of the world. As if the Pacific Ocean isn't the largest body living today, beating the loudest heart. The reason why land has a pulse in the first place. The audacity one must have to create a visual so violent as to assume that nobody comes from water, so nobody will care what you do to it. And yet, people came from land, are still coming from land, and look what was done to them. When people ask me where I'm from, they don't believe me when I say water. So instead, I tell them that home is a machete and I come from places that don't belong to themselves anymore. Broken and butchered places that have made me a hyphen of a woman. A Samoan American who carries the weight of both colonizer and colonized. Both blade and blood. California stolen. Samoa sliced in half, stolen. California nestled on the western coast of the most powerful country on the planet, Samoa. An island so microscopic on a map that people doubt its existence. California, a state of emergency away of having the drought ridden of all its water. Samoa, a state of emergency away of becoming a saltwater cemetery if the sea levels don't stop rising. When people ask me where I'm from, what they want is to know where I go once I leave here. What is it like to know that home is something that is waiting for you to return to it? What does it mean to belong to something that isn't sinking? What does it mean to belong to the very thing that is causing the flood? So many of us come from water, but when you come from water, no one believes you. Colonization keeps laughing. Global warming is grinning all at your grief. How you mourn the loss of a home that isn't even gone yet, that no one believes you're from. How people are beginning to hear more about your island, but only in the context of vacations and honeymoons, football and military life, exotic women, exotic fruit, exotic beaches, but never asks about the rest of its body, the water, the ocean that it comes from, the reason why it's sinking. You explain and explain and clarify and correct their incorrect pronunciation and explain until people realize just how vast your ocean is, how microscopic your islands look in it, how easy it is to miss when looking on a map of the world. Excuses people make for why they didn't see it before.